Fellas, you guys are trailing three in the fourth quarter. Did you decide to change up anything on the defense right there? It seemed like you were maybe not sitting back and kind of waiting for the big play and started being aggressive again. Um, we just decided to, had to, we just had to play as a team and execute every play. Whatever call coach gave us, we just had to execute, and we know we had to do that with us being down so we can get our offense back to the ball so they can score and put points on the board. Kyle, it seems like you really were able to come off the edge and make a lot of big plays. What was working so well for you tonight? And then same thing with Dylan Storr. He seemed to be coming off the edge well. What does it do when you guys have two edge rushers like yourselves that can make big plays like that? I'm going to start with Dylan, oh man. Uh, I'm, I'm, super, I'm just saying uh, I'm super proud of him tonight. Like He had a great game and like been through a lot while he says he's been here and it's just like I'm proud to see what he's done like he's one of the best freshmen I ever laid my eyes on and I'm excited to see what he's gonna keep doing as far as me I feel like I that goes into Dylan and the rest of the D-line again like uh they, they they held their gaps and put me in a position to do what I had to do so like that's a testament to the whole defense really when can you take us through what you saw in the, the strip sack there in the fourth quarter um on the strip sack, I just see, I was telling Dylan the whole game. I was like, because I seen him at the like the first quarter, he was attempting to punch the ball. I was like, keep punching, it's gonna come out. I promise you. And he just kept doing that, so he executed. And once I seen he stripped and I seen Jules put it up, I was like, blood just started rushing through my body, and I was so excited for him to make that play. Can you talk about the defense forcing what four turnovers tonight, mm -hmm. like five sacks and all, but actually giving your offense the ball twice inside yeah. the other team's ten for fourteen points right there? I mean, that's just something that we hone in on every day in practice. Like we talk about leading, the, we uh, I think it's something like we we had the most turnovers in the SEC in the past, over the past three years, and we just talk about that every day, like like holding in on getting the ball out, and that's how you create momentum shifts and, and big plays throughout the game. And I'm just glad we were able to execute that tonight for sure. You talk about this defense being historic a few weeks ago. Do you feel like it kind of lived up to what you expected coming into the year? And why is this just the beginning for what you guys can do? What makes you feel that way? Uh, this is obviously just the beginning. I feel like uh, down the road, we play a lot of teams that we're going to be getting muddy with. So I feel like uh, tonight was a big stepping stone as statistically where we wanted to be at the end of the season. And I feel like we're going to keep building on that from here on out. Old Dominion hit two big plays in the first half, the the deep throw and then the, the QB run. Did you guys have to change anything after that? Did you make an adjustment, switch anything up, or just keep playing? Um, I decided we just keep playing. It was just a little mis miscommunication on those plays that happened. It was nothing that was like we just got outplayed. It was just a little miscommunication, but we just we cleaned that up. You know, first game, stuff going to happen, so we just got to clean those things up, make sure it don't happen in other games because in other games that definitely could come towards us for us and make, making us lose the game. So we just got to clean up those little miscommunication and we'll be great. Jalen, obviously, you had the interception to help seal the deal, but O'Donnell had an interception as well. You guys made some really good plays in the secondary. How have you guys kind of grown in terms of pass coverage from last season going into this year and being able to make those plays to help your team win these games? Yeah, I just feel like the the DB room has built so much chemistry from last year with everybody. We, we I think we only we only lost one person in the secondary, which was Marcellus, and just us building that chemistry and having that love for each other and just playing for each other during the whole spring, fall camp, just communicating with each other just makes us better as a defense because like it's times we on the field we see things that the coaches don't see so we make our own calls and we can switch and make plays so that's why I feel like we're one of the best defenses back there because I feel like we just got the best one of communication and chemistry in the game. Hey guys coach talked about how this game might have been sloppier than he wanted and there's some improvement to be done but a win is a win and you're going to celebrate that just what's the confidence level in the locker room after this game? Uh, I just feel like that um, it's hard to win. Like, it doesn't matter who we're playing. It's hard to win. So I feel like we should take great pride in winning the football game. I feel like it's more than obvious that we got things to clean up, and we're coming in here first thing tomorrow to, to do those things. But a win is a win, and we sh we should not be hanging our heads about who we played because, like, they're guys too. So it's hard to win. So, yeah. Kyle, you had, like, a couple sacks right off the bat. Uh, when you go back and look at your numbers, I mean, you're looking at the stat sheet right now. Were you like, man, I thought I had more, or man, I could have had more? Or what goes through your head when you look at your stats tonight? Uh, I made I made, a, made made a couple plays and put my team in a good position. I feel like uh, the only thing I was thinking about was um, 
differentiating sacks and TFL. I'm thinking in my head, like, was that a sack or was that a TFL? Did he pull the ball or did he, you know? So that's all I'm thinking about, you know. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you all.